We've often heard people rant that India is a land of mysteries and wondered where the notion came from. Well, India truly has millions of secrets buried deep in its most bizarre of places that either leave people wide eyed with shock or freak them out when they learn about them. From abandoned villages to the lake of skeletons, India is home to the most unusual of places. So here we are with a list of top 5 mysterious places in India. Sundarban, West Bengal If you have an appetite for paranormal activities, Alaya ghost lights in West Bengal are definitely going to grab your attention. If you happen to roam in the swamps of Bengal, you might come across a nightmarish display of flickering colorful lights at a distance. And these lights, when approached, drown you to the depth of swamps. There have been many sightings of unnatural glowing lights of different colors hovering over the marshes in West Bengal. Referred to as Alia lights for many years now, these lights are a nightmare for fishermen as they usually end up confusing them and they would lose their way. In many cases reported till date, various fishermen have even lost their lives due to these strange lights. The fishermen who follow the lights either get drowned or get transfixed. Many bodies have washed ashore on these swamps that locals attribute to Alia lights. They believe that these lights are the spirits of dead fishermen who lost their lives fishing in the marshes. While some of these spirits appear with an intention of killing other fishermen by leading them off the path, others appear to point them in the right direction. Scientists all around the world have vaguely attributed this phenomenon to distinct theories like ionization of methane or geological faulting. But the local folklore has a different say. While in some parts of Europe it is believed to be the light of fairies, it is presumed as a location of buried treasure in some other parts. Regardless of that, Alia ghost lights in West Bengal remain to be one of the most mysterious places in India. Kuldhara, Rajasthan 15 km to the west of Jaisalmer in Rajasthan is Kuldhara, a village in ruins. This well-planned layout was once a thriving village like any other in Rajasthan. The Paliwal Brahmins occupied the village along with 83 other villages surrounding Kuldhara and one night the whole community disappeared from the scene without declaring any particular reason. That too after having resided in that very land for more than 7 long centuries. As people say, they left one curse behind that would leave the villages abandoned forever and shrouded in legends. One legend has it that the ruler desired to marry the daughter of Kuldara's chieftain. This forceful act was against the honor and pride of the community here. Hence all the chieftains of 84 villages got together and decided to abandon the place in one night. There's no story that says how they did it, but one night was all it took. Another narrative surrounding the ruthful ruler has it that there were intolerable taxes heaved upon people, following which the intelligent chieftains vacated the villages having no other go. Since then, no one has been able to live here and it is now one of the abandoned places in India. Those who try are chased away at night by paranormal activities. Tourists who visit Kuldhara encounter an uneasy feeling when they set foot inside the village. Many strange and unnatural activities that keep on happening at this place has gathered eyeballs of many ghost hunters and intrepid paranormal societies. People from different parts of the world visit Kuldhara to see the dark and spooky side of Rajasthan and unveil mysterious secrets, which in just one night made this place godforsaken for the rest of the years. Jatinga Assam Jatinga is an Indian village located in Dima Hasau district Assam, approximately 330 km south of Guwahati. Jatinga is well known for the phenomenon of birds committing suicide. In the late monsoon months, a huge number of migratory and local birds commit mass suicide at the village. The bird mystery is a unique phenomenon starting when myriads of birds descend from the sky, plummeting to their deaths by crashing into buildings and trees. For many years, locals have strongly believed that evil spirits living in the skies were in control for bringing down the birds. Number of scientific studies and experiments have concluded that the birds are usually disoriented by the monsoon fog. Hence, they are heavily attracted by the village lights and fly towards them, occasionally hitting building walls and trees during the descent. 
Therefore, some of the birds die while the others are grievously injured, becoming easy prey for the villagers to capture. The locals call this phenomenon avian harakiri, which was first observed by the Zemi Nagas, the inhabitant tribe of the region in the early 1900s. It scared them so badly that they sold their land to Jaintiyas and left the place in 1905. The new inhabitants also observed the phenomenon but interpreted it as a gift from God. Hence, the Jaintiyas aren't entirely wrong because the phenomenon has captured the interest of wildlife circles and sightseers, making the village of Jatinga world famous. Rupkund Lake, Uttarakhand a small lake known as Rupkun Lake sits high in the Indian Himalayas, more than 16,000 feet above sea level. Covered in ice and surrounded by rocky glaciers, the lake appears to be a typical beautiful natural wonder. However, during one month of the year, when the ice melts away and the bottom of the shallow lake becomes visible, the true nature of the lake reveals itself. At the bottom of the lake are hundreds of mysterious human skeletons. There have been efforts to determine who these people were, where they were from, and how they died. But many questions still remain unanswered. It is believed that the skeletons number around 300. Since the skeletons were first rediscovered during World War II, the first assumption was that these were the skeletons of soldiers, perhaps Japanese soldiers, who had died from exposure to the elements while travelling through India. A team of investigators was sent to Rupkund where they quickly determined that the remains were too old to be from the ongoing war. With later investigation, it became apparent that the remains consisted of more than just bones. The frigid temperatures and dry and cold air allowed bits of flesh, nails and hair to be preserved as well. In addition, pieces such as wooden artifacts, iron spearheads, leather slippers and jewellery were discovered. Oxford University's Radiocarbon Accelerator Unit conducted radiocarbon dating on the remains and concluded that they date back to around 850 AD. There is one local legend that may shed some light on the identity of the remains. According to legend, Raja Jasthaval, the king of Kanauj, was travelling with his pregnant wife Rani Balampa. They were accompanied by servants, a dance troupe and others as they travelled on a pilgrimage to Nanda Devi Shrine for the Nanda Devi Rajat which takes place every 12 years. As they travelled, they were overcome by a sudden severe hailstorm with extremely large hailstones. The storm was too strong and with nowhere to take shelter, the entire group perished near Rupkund. For a long time, this story appeared to be a legend with no evidence to substantiate it. However, recent finds may lend some support to the legend. In 2013, researchers concluded that it is likely that the individuals had been killed in a hailstorm. The injuries on the remains indicate that each person was killed by one or more blows to the head, neck and shoulders. As of today, the conclusion that this group of people died due to a severe hailstorm remains the most plausible explanation as to what happened to them on their ill-fated journey. However, there has been no verification as to whether this was a group travelling with the king. Efforts have been made to protect that area as an eco-tourist destination so people can still view the wonders of Rupkund without risking destruction or removal of the skeletons. Preserving the possibility of further research is essential if there is going to be hope of learning more about the mysterious group of people that were killed over a millennium ago in the Himalayas of Kanauj as legend states. Konkala Pass, Ladakh Situated at a dizzying height of 16,965 feet, this region is technically no man's land. The Konka Pass is where the Indo-Chinese armed conflict had occurred in 1962, after which the borders were redrawn. China has designated this pass as its international border, whereas India regards Lanak Pass as its international border, which is further east. The Konka Pass is not physically patrolled by either of the country's troops, but both keep an eye on it from afar. Locals on both sides of the border have always reported sightings of UFOs in the area and Google Earth imagery seems to have revealed something eerie as well. There was an incident involving Hindu pilgrims on their way to Mount Kailash who had reportedly seen unidentifiable objects flying in the air. They had seen unusual triangular flying objects that glowed due to phosphorescence. 
What was even more surprising was when they asked the guide about it, he very nonchalantly said that such sightings were extremely common in the area. Based on the locals' observations, experts believe that the remote region is not only the place for UFO landings, but also suspect that a fully functioning UFO base exists there. People have allegedly seen the UFOs hover in the air before landing on the ground and disappearing into the ground, probably to the underground base. The most concrete evidence of the existence of aliens in India would be the incident involving the Indian Army in 2012. Army men apparently saw an object that looked like a strip of cloth hovering around Pangong Lake, which is in the close vicinity of the line of control. They brought out their spectrum analyzer and their portable ground-based radar to try and figure out what the object was. To their surprise, Though the object was clearly visible to the naked eye, it was not detected in either of the systems, leading to the obvious conclusion that the object was non-metallic. They didn't have any other explanation for what the object could be. As of today, science has neither been able to prove the existence of these creatures, nor has been able to explain certain phenomena that are credited to alien beings. However, the possibility of encountering aliens in India has piqued our curiosity and only given us one more reason to embark on a voyage to the Himalayas. Immortal beings, ghosts, red snow, yeti, the snow monster, UFOs, extraterrestrial life, what else is India hiding from us? We cannot wait to find out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out previous stuff.